No, I, I really hope as you continue to talk with Zarif or with the Sultan of Oman, who's clearly a good friend of yours, that you that this has just got to stop. I, it, to me, it's as bad as they're cheating on, on the JCPOA or sponsoring a terrorist attack on the expats in Paris. They are, they're sending sophisticated weaponry that can kill a lot of people in these missiles that the Houthis are there. And Zarif and the Sultan, they've just got to stop that. Do you agree, Secretary? Yeah, we've absolutely. And we made it very, very clear to them, and the issue's been raised with the Omanis and others. I think there are ways to get at that, but you're going to, again, have to engage. Uh, but I made it crystal clear that that's unacceptable. In fact, Hugh, it's not well known, but we kept in place in the, in the JCPOA uh, negotiations, we kept the sanctions in place for human rights, we kept the sanctions in place for the missile trans- missile testing. We kept sanctions in place against their transfer of weapons in Yemen, and we raised those sanctions during even during the time we were negotiating the JCPOA. So we never relented with respect to accountability on those issues. But we believed that having an Iran that didn't have a nuclear weapon or a pathway to a nuclear weapon was a better place to be in negotiating on those other issues. And our theory of the case was you get JCPOA in place, you prove that you're going to enforce it as you agreed to, and then you put all those other issues on the table. So from my point of view, I think President Trump would have been much better advised to have kept the JCPOA, which would have kept China, Russia, France, Germany, and Britain together with you, united, so you keep it in place and you say to the Iranians, hey guys, we've told you you've got to stop these other things. I'm going to give you two years or a year or whatever. We're willing to negotiate on these other things, but if you, don't, if you, if you haven't done it by then, I'm out of this agreement. And that way you have China, Russia, these other countries with you in the effort to leverage this different behavior from Iran, rather than unilaterally pulling out and isolating yourself 